Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be replacing the high mount uh, cargo bed lights on the Ram 1500. Now if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that I replaced all the LEDs in my uh, C5 Corvette. Well, not all, but most. So I really do like the white LED look. Um, currently the high mount lights are just a halogen. So if we unlock the car now. You can barely see them here in the daylight. Um, I'm going to cut to a clip here at night. Alright, so here we are in the nighttime view of the bed. Um, obviously, it's dark in here. Um, turn these lights on. See the high mount uh, bed lights come on. And this is the light output that goes into the truck bed. It's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm blocking off the side LED bed lights uh, just so we can see the comparison of just the high mounts from before and then after. All right, so you see at night they're okay, they're not terrible, but um, these LEDs will definitely improve the nighttime vision as well as make it a little bit more visible here during the day as well. All right, so I picked up this four pack of 921 LED backup bulbs off Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below, but like I said, it came with four bulbs. So obviously there's two for the high mount cargo light and one for the high mount uh, for the third brake light. So we're going to be replacing all three of those today. All right, so the only two you're going to need to take off the high mount uh, light is a Phillips head screwdriver, so we're going to get into that right now. Alright, so here's a better shot of the third brake light and the high mount uh, cargo bed lights. You can see the halogen color to them. And then these are your two Phillips head screws that you need to remove, so let's remove those now. Okay, so this is with the high mount light removed. All you have to do, these two outside lights are the cargo bed lights, this middle light is your third brake light. So all you have to do is just twist these off and the bulbs come right out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace one of these and uh, look at the uh, before and after. All right, now this is the before and after. Now obviously this is still the stock halogen. And now this is the new LED. Uh, here they are during the day. It's kind of hard to really notice that big a difference. But uh, there's definitely a difference here, just looking at it in person. But uh, I'll show you a nighttime clip now on both of these replaced. All right, and now all three bulbs are replaced, the two cargo bed lights, and then I also, since it came with a pack of four, I replaced the one brake light. So then these are pretty easy to go back in. They just go back in the same way they came out. Just put them in, and then just rotate them in. All right, now here is the after of the reverse lights. Uh, I did the install two days ago. Last night we ended up having a severe rainstorm, so I couldn't show you the, the after uh, last night. And then today I put the tunnel cover on, so I can't show you the exact comparison between before and after, but you can clearly see how much brighter these are from the stock ones. And then now I'm gonna get in the car and hit the brake light for you. All right, so right now that's the uh, nighttime look uh, for the new Ram. All right, now with all those in, uh, it's a pretty simple process. You just put this back in there. And then we just screw our uh, two screws back in. And uh, now I'll show you the nighttime clip of what the two cargo lights look like, as well as the high mount brake light. All right, now one last thing to check is to see if we have an error after we replace those LEDs. Now, just so you know, I, I put in, which I knew would th throw the error code. I just put in regular LEDs for the license plate lights, um, only because I knew they would throw a code, just so you can see that uh, you do get codes just if you throw in any LED. Um, so you do need, um, you know, the CAN bus compatible LEDs. So here we go. All right, so there you go. There's the notification that the license plate light is out. And that is the only message we have, is that the license plate's out, not the, I'll put it in reverse. All right. So we still only have the license plate light out uh, notification. We don't have anything about the high mount cargo light or that third brake light being out. So these LEDs are definitely a good choice to pick up for $8. They're CAN bus compatible, so they won't throw any error codes.
Okay, so here's the final product with the two high mount cargo lights replaced and that third high mount uh, brake light replaced. All right, and then that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.